What's going on, guys? Welcome back, Terror Squad. We are back in the booth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We are back here in Spartacus, episode 4, season 1, Blood and Sand. Let's get it. Last episode, um, Spartacus got a good taste of the humble pie. <laughs> you know, um, Crixus beat him in the, in the arena with basically no challenge at all um as i thought that it would go because it it would be bad for storytelling if they had let spartacus win so i never expected him to win that matchup because of course practicing is a whole lot different when you're going up against somebody that's experienced in the real thing and he was he, he, he really he wants to get his wife back so bad and I do understand where he's coming from but he also needs to realize that these these guys that he that already been seasoned in the arena and stuff like that like they have the experience man and they're gonna do whatever it takes just like him to exist and to get maybe something that they're working towards and as you can see everybody and all of those guys in the quote-unquote brotherhood right um they're working towards something they're working towards getting some sort of freedom in their own way so um so people are working to get back to their families or whatever the situation is because they're they're all basically slaves right so you might as well make the best of it until you get out of that there's a promise at the end of the tunnel um even though they don't know for sure if they're gonna get that so-called freedom they still gonna work towards it which is something that spartacus is going to have to learn one way or the other so i'm looking forward to it but anyways man um some real interesting characters here in this story and I'm ready to hear all of them. I'm really interested to see where he's going to go with these two ladies. Um, these two beautiful ladies in the story. Even though they like to watch live porn. It's okay, man. <laughs> you know, it's okay. You know, um, I see the comments. I see the comments, guys. Trust me, I see the comments. It's one of the things that I can pay attention to even though I'm so busy. I can still pick up my phone and look at the comments from the channel so thank you guys so much for all the comments um and all the likes man you guys are killing it right now um as i said man anytime i start a new series i never really have total high grade total you know what i'm saying like i i expect to get views but some of the times some of these series they blow my mind because even though they're suggested, you're not expecting a certain amount of your subscribers. Because my my subscribers are split between music, TV shows, and anime. So a lot of times I'll get anime people that watch the TV shows um, or so like that. So on average, I'm expecting any new series that I have to have somewhere around 100 to 200 views. So when any of my reactions are hitting 500 plus views... Um, I know this is something that's kind of cross. You get what I'm saying? Like it, it's going across genres and, and, and well, not, not the show itself, but for the channel itself, it, you know, people from the other parts, you know, will, are coming in to join or I'm gaining new subscribers. Um, because when I check the analytics, I'm not gaining subscribers that are really watching um spartacus or anything like that um it's more of on the music side where all these new subscribers are coming in um so it's most of the people that are already here so those people will see it and love it also okay so let's jump into this man and let's see what this is all about and i will see you guys right back here for the review let's go get it All right, we are back here for the review. The episode was pretty much, I think that was the shortest episode we've watched out of all four. I think that was somewhere around 50 minutes. Um, um, the last episodes were definitely an hour long. So, um, 
so yeah man this episode was a learning experience for for spartacus um i'm kind of surprised that you know the dream that he had let him make that decision i didn't got that from the dream but apparently he did <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I think it, it was the only way for him to kind of like save her. Because um, basically the dream was, you know, telling him that she's in some serious danger. Needs to save her. So him, Batiatus granting him the position of becoming a, uh, a part of the gladiators again. I'm, I'm pretty sure the other guys, they're not going to like it. But... As long as Spartacus is Spartacus, you know what I'm saying? We're good. I'm happy that he's back. He survived the pits, regardless of how you may think of it. He did survive. And there was nobody there that was matching up to him. Nobody there that was matching up to him. So I'm guessing now that he's going to have... Um, he really just needs to hone his skills a lot better so that he can take on somebody like Crixus. Is raw, no no, no technique to what he does, is not going to work against those guys. Because those guys, they have that raw ability along with the training that they're getting. So that's what makes the difference with them. Because they're patient when they're in the arena. They have this thing about them where they're a true fighter. You know what I'm saying? If you... If you um go back and you look at most fighters in the history of of the UFC and, and and boxing, right? Two most popular sports when it comes on to fighting each other, right? You will notice that a lot of these guys, if you their history is always saying that they got this rawness to them, right? This this rawness to them and they take that and then they go into a world where there are people who are skilled. It's not that those people didn't have rawness to them. That's that's where they're... Um, if you talk about the best fighters in the world, say Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, you know, he honed his skills. He honed his skills, but he got... He had that raw talent to him before he stepped into the boxing ring. He's talked about it all the time where, you know what I'm saying, like somebody see him punch or somebody saw him do something and they were like you need to come to the gym and let's see what we can do is somebody can see something and understand that this person can be great and they take them they train them and teach them that listen these people that you're gonna fight against they're skilled you know what i'm saying so don't take them for granted because they will you know what i'm saying you're not the only person in the world that got this raw ability they got the raw ability plus the training and the skill so don't take them light okay so that's what i want spartacus to get i want him to get that training so that he can start destroying everybody like that's what i'm looking forward to so um when it comes on to the whole the attempt on batiatus life like that that scene was so well done in my opinion, it was so well done because it was to the point where I was like, oh, shit, what is going to happen? Because I was saying, we know the main character is not going to die. You get what I'm saying? Not at this point in the show. The show is named Spartacus. He's not going to die. So there's something go is going to happen, which is the attempt on Batiatus on his life so that... Um, basically the the aftermath of his him owing i didn't think he was gonna end up saving batiatus life like i didn't see that coming i thought he was the whole him saying hey you know what i'm saying alerted barca to the to the situation which the thing about it he was so engraved in he, he, watching the fight that's why he didn't notice what was going on which is you're a bodyguard you cannot be entertained by what is going on it's, it's kind of like a um, a bouncer at a club paying attention to all the women that are going in staring at their asses and not protecting what he's supposed to be protecting, which is a door, just letting it, everybody just walking past him because he's staring at the girl's asses, right? So that's that's what I'm saying. It's like you when you're a bodyguard, you, you can't be entertained by what is going on around because somebody can use that as a distraction to get to your client. So you can't do that. So 
he didn't know what he was doing. Barker was definitely, he deserved, um, you know, the tongue lashing that Batia just gave him, definitely. So, this is getting juicy, man. As I said, I'm glad that he's back. Um, I don't know, the, the situation that went on with Crixus and uh, the girl, right? Um, the, the excuse... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But I'm glad that she got a chance to explain herself, though, even though I was saying, huh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's like, didn't you say you can't accept the gift and whatever? And it's like, why, you know, things like this happen to us as, as men all the time. Um, I'm also going to say that Crixus did cut her off. So all in all, both of them was wrong in some sort of way. You get what I'm saying? But he got what he wanted. That's all I would have been like, hey, I got a, I got a kiss and I know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He got what he wanted. So, um, which is a nice kiss to leave an impression with her. She likes him. But the problem is that she's so worried about her status and where she is. She she can't really express that emotion um, to the point where she really wants to, the way how she really wants to express that emotion, she can't, because, not necessarily that she can't, she's worried about doing it, which is on, which is, I, I understand where she's coming from, I understand both of their situation, um, he's willing to take the risk, and she is not willing to take that risk, because, first of all, he is the one that is servicing her right now. So if she finds out that the two of them, you know that, you know that Lucretius is going to get rid of her. You know. And it's not going to be just sending her away. She's going to kill her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I, for some reason, I think that Domina, Lucretius, whatever her name is, she... um has i don't know if she really does or if he's just a you know a f toy to her like I, I don't know maybe he's just entertainment for her but i, I just kind of have this small feeling that she does have feelings for him in some way and she's just kind of like sticking around with um batiatus because batiatus got stature you get what i'm saying like she is the kind of like the classic gold digger type you know what i'm saying so I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's the, the idea that I'm getting right now from the Shore 4 episodes in. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. That is my review for episode four. It was a great episode, man. The pits, crazy. People tearing off, cutting off people's faces and wearing it. It was just, it, it, it's brutal. It's brutal. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will catch you guys later, man. Thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome, and I will catch you guys for the next one remember to like subscribe if you're new and also leave a comment in the comment section and your boy will catch you later Bye.